Yeah, I go to a lot of, um, you know, stores, and when I'm in London, I go to some of the antique stores and that. What I've been noticing is a lot of these little lead figures, nobody wants them. And, you know, the gun's missing. Or, in this case, the legs are broken off. And so they give them to you for, like, you know, a pound or a dollar. Or some people give them to me for free. I've got a couple for free as well because people just don't want the lead figures anymore. They're a little worried about the poison, which, I mean, it's about kids putting it in their mouth, really, than anything else. So, I just want to show you... I'm, Restored a couple of these. Just want to show you uh, some of the ones that are restored, and I'm just gonna um, uh, sh talk through how I do it. But I'll do a demo video later on when I have another broken. One. So the um, this is the last one I've been doing, just this morning, and the hat had a fairly bit of a hole in there, and I've filled that in. The gun was broken uh, uh, off, and I put a new one in. Uh, it's just a uh, picture frame nail cut off and the legs were totally broken off so I've put new legs on them. What you do is you take a little bit of um, actually I'll get into that in a minute, I'll talk about the flux in a minute. Anyways I solder with a, a, a Weller solder gun two blobs in the end of the legs and then basically blobs on the stand and put it back on again and filed it. So this is what I got at the moment. It needs a little painting and that, but the soldier's back together like he was originally. So that's one. The cowboy gun was broke off and the paint was all gone. It's a little rough, but uh, I kind of like it like that. Kind of primitive. Right? Now on these ones, this is actually for the friend that gives me uh, quite a few of these. Can you see that there? His gun was gone, so I've slotted it in the back and soldered it in there. <clears throat> and his hand actually fell off as well. And I'll show you the trick to that in a minute. Here's another one. The gun was missing. And the head was missing. And I put another head on him and another gun. The head is only okay. It was one of my first attempts. On this one, I just extended the gun. It was quite simple. <clears throat> Actually, the whole gun is new and the hands are new. Sorry. The two hands were off on this one. Can you see that? And I'll show you how I did the hands. And there's the gun, which is just basically a clothes hanger cut, smashed on the end so it's flattened, and then soldered in. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. And I, th this one, I think the gun was only missing. It was a while back, so I think the gun was broken off. So I, from here somewhere, and I put it in. I was quite pleased with that at the time. That was one of my earlier ones. Now, I'm just going to show you how I do the hands. Got to get this marble slab in here instead of this. There you go, you can see that, and I'll twist it over to it a little. There we go. So when I'm doing the soldier hands, what you do is you put it down on a cold uh, slab like this one. It's a bit of tile, but it looks like marble. Let's get the one that was no hands at all, this guy. And I basically soldered the end of the, um, put flux on this flux here. Just It's just um, for uh, plumbing. And you put a bit of flux on the end of the arm and touch a bit of solder on it. Here's your solder. There's variation of fluxes. And I used a weather gun and touched a bit of solder on the end of the arms. And then I put a blob of solder on top of that on this slab, which creates this flat surface for you. And here again, on this one, you can see the flat surface that the um, slab created when I blobbed it onto the hand. The guns are just a clothes hanger, right? You just cut a piece off, get rid of the plastic, shine it, and solder it on. And if you want the back of the gun, you just hammer it on the back of your anvil. And as you can see, it's soldered on in there. You just make a little slot in the hand and you solder it in. So they look quite real and quite cool again. So that's those two. So, I mean, there's the next. I'm still working on doing better heads. Where's the head here? Here's one of my heads. 
and I'm still working on how to do better heads so you know it'll take me most likely a while maybe another couple to get it really good but I mean it's not bad my painting job wasn't the best on this one anyways that's what I'm up to at the moment I must paint this one up this is the one I'm just doing or oh, sorry this is the one I'm just doing I just gotta paint this up now it's pretty good to go so that's what I'm doing with the lead figures so I'm trying to save some of these. 